Hey guys, it's JXX21 here, and this is a update video on why I haven't been posting any videos, and also what's going on with the RC cars. So quickly, let me just get out of get the why I haven't been making videos out of the way. Basically, my computer broke, haven't gotten it fixed, can't edit anything, so I can't really put up upgrade videos. But other than that, let's get into the upgrade video or update video rather. So, this is Silencer, my Rustler two-wheel drive, but, click there. Now it is turning into a custom trophy truck build. So, basically it's the whole front end from Silencer, plus these tires, uh, a bunch of eighth inch aluminum, Silencer's transmission, this isn't uh, her transmission right now. But it, her transmission will go here. Uh, I've got a slash two-wheel drive receiver box over there because it had the intended mount. And then the back part. And I can just squeeze two tires in here. So that's good. But this is all eighth inch 5052 aluminum. Uh, and on the bottom, I have counter suck, sunk. Well, not really countersunk, as best as I could countersink hardware, and then I ran out of the, um, I forget what kind of screws uh, these are, but I ran out of these screws, so I had to use button head screws. There we go. It's a mess without editing. So I wasn't, I didn't, I tried, I countersunk these, but I ran out of these screws. So I had to put button head screws here, um, so these hold in the transmission by the way. I only have two in because it doesn't need all four right now, and I have to take it apart later on. These two screws are for the receiver box holding that in. The duct tape's just temporary, although I might duct tape all the bottom of this so it doesn't get scratched up. Um, but, Jesus. Stay. Just stay. Okay. So, this is a chassis brace because I don't want the aluminum to bend. Um, so, that makes it a quarter inch aluminum because it was eighth inch and now it's quarter inch aluminum. Yeah. And I cut this with a bandsaw, if you're wondering. Uh, I wouldn't recommend cutting it any other way because that's like the fastest and easiest way to cut it and most accurate. So, yeah, silencer. Is turning into a custom trophy truck build. Will be two wheel drive. I could get the STRC uh, Traxxas slash 4x4 front bulkhead thing and I could redesign the chassis and made it put up here and then I could have it four wheel drive because double output and then if I wanted I could have a center diff. But no, I'm just going to put a diff locker in there from Energy or whatever and run it out down to the axle. Don't have the axle yet or anything back here yet. I know I'm like springs are there, but the axle will hang about right in here. So, um, but I'm using Viterra twin hammer links for the lower links, and then I'm going to use an axial wraith axle. It's a little narrow, it's like 6.2 inches, and I need it to be like with short course tires, and I need it to be 6.49, I think, but I think it should be okay. If not, I'll just get some wheel wideners and zero offset wheels and just push them out a little bit. But yeah, that's basically it for silencer. Uh, yeah, the ESC is mounted up here. Ran out of room. I know I could put it there, but... Nah. It's right in front of the transmission and drive shaft. I don't know. It's up here. You could argue that like when you do a wheelie, it'll add some weight here. Also, I put... Silencer's rear shocks up front just to see how much of a suspension drop it would give me. Stock, the tire was about there. And now it's about a quarter inch lower. About half an inch, actually. So it's about half an inch lower, so I'm going to keep that. And these are... They're either Rustler front springs or Bandit rear springs, but they were a little short, so I had to put a spacer on it. And they're still just a tad short, but I like it because it gives me a lot of droop. And I'm going to have to adjust the suspension and whatnot. 
So, freak show, doing great. Uh, I got some gladiator tires, wasn't able to make an update video for that, and some split six rims. Plan to get some for the front, but maybe later. Uh, other than that, I don't think anything has changed that you've seen. Um, God. Uh, Cobalt. That's, that's his name. Uh, still don't have a body for Cobalt. Uh, paddle tires still on there. Um, yeah, nothing has changed with this. Yeah. Uh, my dad's slash currently re -go going through and changing a bunch of stuff. Uh, Bandit, which is Achilles. Uh, just put some mini summit tires on there right now because they're better in grass. And then the mini summit, which is my dad's, is back there. You can't see it, but it's all taken apart and whatnot. Uh, my mini E Revo, it got ran over by a bicycle, so the body's all torn up. And uh, the ESC is a little screwed up. I might have to get another one, but probably won't because I'm thinking about selling this. But I might not because that was my first hobby grade RC car that was worth it. Then we have the 8th scale, 10th scale, call it whatever you want. But this is the e Um You guys actually haven't seen this on my... Yes, you've seen this on my channel in a running video. But basically, it's just got trenchers, RPM the arms all the way around, and then nothing new. Also, I put a custom chassis brace, but... That's not really that important, but I know there's going to be that one person who wants to see it, so. Yeah, you just... oh, you... Of course you can't see it, because it's almost terrible. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's right in here. It's just a turnbuckle running from the screw up here down to the screw port down on this thing. It goes down in between the shocks, and it's just screwed in there. So next is my crawler slush. I haven't had a name for this one, but I need stiffer diff oil in it. I actually don't think you guys I don't think you guys have seen this one yet. But it's just got a Valenian system with a fan and Savox or no, not Savox. I forget what servo's in it, but it's a crappy servo. It doesn't really work that well. But it's waterproof, so oh well. Then I have some RC four-wheel drive. Um, what are these? Oh, these are super swampers. What am I talking about? These are 1.9 super swampers stretched over RPM 2.2 rims. Uh, suspension is really soft, and it's got about 6 inches of suspension travel, so it's pretty good. But, yeah, other than that, yeah, that's about it. So, I know I kind of talked fast and whatnot, but, yeah, custom trailer built a little while ago. But, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you wish. Um, also, I have an Instagram account for those of you that don't know. Um... Remote Control Guru, I, paste, I post a few pictures of the RCs. Not really that active on it, but yeah. So if you care to know more about what's going on, you can follow my Instagram. Again, Remote Control Guru uh, underscore Remote underscore Control underscore Guru. And you should be able to find it. So yeah, that's it for this upgrade video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.